think that neuroplasticity explains so much of this struggle in a way that I don't think I've heard anyway, other content creators talk about. And the reason why I think this is really important to talk about, about the neuroplasticity differences of an autistic brain is because I think that so many of us are stuck in this, particularly people who either go on to have a very different visual difference. So like Jason Arde or somebody who is like myself, who has been high masking for so long, I didn't get a late diagnosis until my kid flagged up. I think that we have so much internal invalidation and internalized sometimes ableism where we count ourselves out sometimes and we don't always see just how big the struggle is or why things presented that way and how they present differently today i want to stand out it's actually rooted in the exact opposite which is i have this internalized perfectionism which is actually rooted in me not wanting to visibly stand out as being insufficient or having gaps because i have had feedback all my life that suggests that I am not adequate, that I am not efficient, that I don't understand something. And again, this could be rooted in normal things because they happen to be true at the time. And we are almost in this chase all of our life to not feel that way again. I think that neuroplasticity explains so much of this struggle in a way that I don't think I've heard anyway, other content creators talk about. Please tell me if you have a relatable experience to what I'm talking about.